Hey, welcome to the podcast. Uh, this is Mark from Mark on Computing. It's my YouTube channel. And hey everyone, I'm Michael, the founder of NetRVA. We uh, make software here in Richmond, Virginia. And today we're going to go over, so as you may know, Google recently kind of got out of the domain game. They forced everybody to move all their domains over to, I believe it was like Squarespace or something of that nature. We're going to take a different route. I've instead moved my domain to Cloudflare and my web page is still on Google Pages, and I kind of want to just get it all consolidated over, as well as spicing it up a little bit. So my page is uh, kaplan.tech. It's kind of fairly old, definitely needs a refresh. So Michael has done this recently and used AI tools to really help it out. And he's going to kind of guide me through that process so that we can learn together. Yeah, sure. So actually, why don't we start on your web page? So I'm going to share my screen here and we're going to look through your web page you generated for your camp uh, just give the viewers a feel of what that looks like so we have buttons at the top you have this nice animated background here that's pretty cool you've got your register now your call to action i'm going to scroll down we have some cards in here we have pictures cards we've got the schedule more call to action key cards it's nice frequently asked question to contact us. So yeah, that's this is a nice looking web page. That way we got a feel. So this is Kaplan Technologies website. This is my old logo. I actually have my new logo too okay. as well. That's uh, perfect. You know, it's not it's not terrible, but it's obviously not not a whole lot of content, not a whole lot of not a whole lot here. Uh, it's got the call to action at the bottom, but you know, some maybe just with our new changes. Yeah, yeah. Just tell it that you want like be... a dark background and then make it pop with some blue and red. Okay. You think this works? Color scheme should be a gray type background with darker colors for themes, like a dark blue and red. Is that the right word? A gray type. I wouldn't say gray type. I would say a dark gray type. A dark gray type. Let's go look at your code. What did your code look like? Nothing crazy there. Yeah, maybe just copy that whole style. I think it's the same though, right? Is it? Okay. Let's grab it and find out. What I would do is just copy the whole yes. style. Because that's the same file yeah. name. Just delete your whole styles and just copy mine. Won't that change the entire layout? The, like the color scheme? Completely. Probably, but we can go back and fix it. Oh, yeah. It should change too much. It should just be the call to action button. Okay. Everything else should be in line. Tailwind. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. See what happens. Whoa. What is this? All right. Let's start. <laughs> let's let's start over. I do see the image though, so I'm glad. Yeah, you can see the image. All right. So let's do this. Let's start over. Use my code again and start a yeah. new prompt with O1 and just say, just emphasize, hey, I have this cool scrolling background with the hero.png. Oh, but you said new chat. Yeah, it's yeah. So, okay, hold on, I gotta go back and get our prompt. Yeah, go to the very top. I think there's like a pencil icon. You can hit the pencil. Let's see And then once you hit the pencil, hit control A. Edit this. And then control A, copy, and then start a new one. No, but we need emphasize. And you're in a O instead of O1. Okay. I just said the one here. Oh, mini. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just give it direction and say, hey, I have this hero.png cool scrolling effect. I do want to maintain that. Don't break it. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Yeah. So it looks like there's something going on. I don't know if that's my side, but it's got some weird effect going on. Do you see that on your side? I don't. Where, okay. where is it? It is right there where it's thinking. Oh, um, I guess you're right. It is like gray. Like it's, too, it's like grayed out. Yeah, and that's have ever... your websites. I think there's something going on with your computer. Or Chrome, maybe? I guess we could try this and open with... Let's yeah. just try Edge. See if there's any change. No. Nah. It's jacked up an Edge to... Or the Air. Oh, my God. I, I do see that. I don't know why it's doing that. That's that's new. It's kind of funny. It sounds like it changed it just a little bit because now it's got projects listed. Oh, yeah. Which is different. Yeah, portfolio section. All right. Let's try it out. Um, I think you may have hit the wrong save button, Mark. Go back to your IDE. What's that? Never mind. I thought it. You're good. Sorry. Yeah, I don't hit the button. I hit control S. Gotcha. Ah, there we go. That looks good. Yeah. That's total. Oh, that's kind of. What's wrong? That's kind of bright. You go from like dark. I do like the gradient that it put on the letters, though. That gradient's looking great. No, I, I do like the gradient, too. Like, I think that looks really good. Other than that bright section, do you think this is going to work for you? Did it capture yeah. what you're looking for? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks Perfect. good. 
Then it have a call to action button at the top. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We'll modify that. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think this so is let's start. Let's fix this section right here where it says our work. You don't like that section. So go to your ID and find that section, our work. And yeah, see where it starts the section tag right below portfolio section. Yeah. What I would do is just copy that whole section of code. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Copy that and then set up a new window. Yeah. And just say, yeah. So it's the 4 Yes. Yeah. And just sell it. Hey, I don't like how bright this is. It does need to be just a little bit darker. What do you think? Yeah, it is slightly darker, right? Yeah. Do you have Claude? Like you can use Claude for free. Just go to their website. All right. So, yep. It looks good. So we'll start over here. So Mark, now that you're on Claude, I see we're using the new 3.5 Sonnet. Go ahead and copy that section that you had before and just tell it to dress that area up a little bit and not make it as bright. And tell it to give you full code too. Uh, Claude's notorious for only doing a couple lines of code. That JPT does that sometimes too. Be like, thought, thought, thought the rest of your code here. Yeah. Like it's so like, I want you to do the work for me. Better, 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 better. All right, put the code here in the sidebar in the chat. I'll, I'll use mine and see if it'll let me use Claude real quick, and then I'll just give it back to you. Yeah. All right. There's a little chat. It's right. too big. You can only take a thousand characters. Can you put it in a notepad file for me? And a notepad file? Yeah. Perfect. Almost done. Yeah, and I guess like in a situation like this, does it make sense to have AI completely do this or just go in and manually change some of the colors? All right, I'm going to send that file right back to you and Zoom now. I have no idea what it looks like. All right, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because it sets it, it apart. Pops. Yeah, it still pops a little bit, but... Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Perfect. I mean, the website looks great. I mean, it's a good starter page. Absolutely. Our services, yep, looks good. Looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple metrics I have to tweak, but not nothing nothing crazy. So I think this is a good start. And obviously, I'll have to find some stock images, too. Yeah, and you can have Google. I'm not Google, but ChatGPT make those for you. But do you want to make the call to action page, like just to send them to like a form? I if do, you... but how about we save that? Let's get the web page hosted. It, it wouldn't take but like a minute just to do this. Okay. It's easier to do it now than trying to go back and then modify it. So just leave this up, but... Get yourself another page ready, and then we can quickly do that. Are you saying for this? I would say stay in here. That way we keep the same. Oh, you're saying have a second page, like a call to action page? Yeah, call to action page. Got it. All right. So go back to my website and then just hit register now right there. Now look at the code on this. All right. Copy that. And but actually, before you copy that, Mark, go to Google Forms and we'll just make a simple form real quick with like first name and email address. Sure. And then you can always go back and make a more complicated form later on. I just create a blank form right there. And then you just want a question with like first and last name. You don't really have to do any of this stuff. Just make your two. Let's start with names. Yeah, perfect. And then hit the plus button for another field. And then email and short answer. That's perfect. We don't need it to validate here. We okay. actually, we don't want it to validate. Okay. Now go to the little, I think it's the eyeball right up there. Preview. Okay. Yeah, that's not it. Go back to your form, close this. And then there should be an option in that dot, dot, dot to get a pre-filled form yes get a pre-filled link perfect all right now that's the link i need to nope 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 you need to put you, uh, just put a name i would just where it says your answer put name in there okay yep and then email and this will just make it easier and i'll hit get link yeah yeah that's really the vision for this podcast is to let ai drive the uh, the pieces really to save time obviously you run into pieces like this where you have to rephrase or yeah you know, those things that can take time to get the ai to do what you want but overall the the impact is there like it's created an entire page for us already which would have taken more time yeah we have it creating this page for us yeah and to be honest what we're doing here is kind of like a back door like this is not an official way to make a google form google wants you to use their code where it embeds their form but their forms are ugly i mean they they haven't changed in the last 10 years so 
doing it this way, you can customize it. It looks like your form. But again, I can see where. It, yeah, that looks better. So you have that, your form IDs. And yeah. There, so that, that looks good. All right. So let's go back to here. Refresh this. Yeah. And it didn't hallucinate. Got us. You need permission. Okay. Uh, so you need to go to your form and let it be. Yeah. This one right here. And just go to settings and just let anybody use it. Defaults. There you go. Restrict to users and clinical strap. Okay. Got it. So let's try that again. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Cool. Now go to your other form as the administrator. Mm -hmm. Or go to go back to Google Forms and see if you see it the data in there. Yeah, I see a response one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then if you wanted to, you could link that to Sheets too, if you wanted to have like a list. Uh, link the Sheets and store it. So yeah, and it would just yeah. That way you have like a little database of all your people. That makes sense. And you can set this up to get email notifications, so somebody reaches out to your business and puts that on there. You nice. Can, yeah. All right. Well, I think we're good to start. Yeah. Put let's do it. On if you want. Let's do it. Let's publish. There you go. And hit create, hit pages. <clears throat> now, for the simplest way, you could just hit upload assets. And you do need to change, I think you call it like test.html. You got to change yeah, that. Yeah. Makes sense. Not a problem. Perfect. So I will make this angry. So, I've never did the connect to get, but if you just want to do upload assets. Yeah, yeah we're just going to upload for now. Let's so create a new okay. project. And we're going to say, yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh, spaces. First one. Oh. And lowercase. Got it. Helps if you can read. Okay. Select from your computer, or I would do the whole folder for me. Yeah, let's just check this. A single folder is a file. Got it. Okay. Load folder. We'll see how that goes. I don't like that it actually put the folder in there or my Git stuff, but it'll be okay. All right. Continue to project. <laughs> go to where it says custom domains. There you go. And set up custom domain. I want you to. Oh, no. Yeah. Put your domain you want to use. Yep. Yeah. Looks good. And you will need to set up another custom domain with dot okay. on dot tech. Because then if anybody tries to go to you, it messes up. It does take a minute for the DNS stuff to do what it needs to do. That's very fine. It's fine. It should show something. That's weird. I'll look at mine and see if I see a folder. Yeah, it's still waiting for DNS to be there for their side. I'm going to see if it changed my DNS already back here so on mine i do not have a folder everything is in the main directory so you may want to change that the main index file should be in the main one so I think how, do I, how do i get back to actually edit the it's right here you just put a new deployment create deployment right there at the very top right top right oh great got it yep there you go and then select from your computer so do you just upload like did you just zip these and no, upload the zip? No, I'm going to show you. Just click on select from computer. Yeah. Upload folder. Yeah. All right. So you're inside of the folder now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now hit upload. Looks good. See how it yeah. gets the folder. Remove all. And then maybe, yeah, click that again. Yeah. I'm going to just make it a zip. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how you could do it any other way. It seems like it just defaults with that as a, as a thing. But I like this better because it gets rid of the Git. Click it. Click it and see what happens, Kathleen Tech. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there we go. Now it's happy. So there's that. Let's see if we got to the actual web page yet. It did, yeah. So the web page, yeah. DNS. Is that yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah, that looks real good. So there that popped up. Yeah. I'll try it on my side, too. The plan. Honestly, oh, yeah. this is a lot better than your old page, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, I just got, I'll get logo in, a band aid up, some of these, maybe review just some of the verbiage on my own time. But yeah, and uh, obviously change the, <laughs> change that email. That's wrong. But no, that's good. So yeah, we, we took time to go over what we did here. So we, we copied a existing page, just grab the source from it. And really you can do that with any. So I grabbed one Michael has made here for this camp that he's created that's going really well. I grabbed the code. Took it to chat GPT, gave it a little prompt of what we wanted it to do with it. Uh, we had to tweak it a few times to get it where we wanted it. However, we ended up with the end product here of this page. Yeah. Uh, with the call to action form. So yes. definitely frustrating. You know, definitely frustrating with AI not doing what we told it to do, but we worked through that. So yeah, I don't think it was any, it's not like we had to bang our heads into the wall for hours. We were able to quickly get it where we wanted it. But as Michael said earlier, you know, generally when you ask 
a developer to make you a web page or something like that, you know, it could be thousands of dollars to make just even simple web pages. Yeah. Just because it's just the price you pay. Or even if you're paying somebody by the hour, you know, if they charge you five hours for this at 200 an hour, 150 an hour, you know, you're still looking at a decent amount of money. So we got this up and quick and easily you could take this and expand it into more pages or whatever you really need to do with it. Uh, but that's what AI helps you do. It just generates kind of that, uh, kind of the, the tedious work takes it out of it. And then obviously you can customize it from here, whether you want to customize it yourself or put it through Claude. Claude has better design elements than ChatGPT generally. So just those things. So I'm going to hop out yeah. here. This Mark, you should, you should also mention this is completely free. Like everything we use today is free. All you need to do is have a web domain name registered with Cloudflare and you get access to that page for free. And then the form we used to collect data was also free. Yeah, you're right. The Google form to collect those call to actions um, so that then you can contact, you know, whatever you're doing, whether you're setting up a camp or selling things or offering custom programming. This is really universal what we did here and can help everybody. Cool. So we're going to wrap this up. Thank you so much, Michael, for walking through this. I think this was a good success. You know, and easily our, our viewers can try this on their own. Yeah, sounds good. Glad to work with you, Mark. Yeah.